Hey Davey, um, I guess we're talking about this, uh, I suppose, two things, the, the, the flow onto that front foot um, and the, I guess, movement of greatness all in one go. So when you get to the top, you want to create hip depth, as you know, but then flow onto that front foot. So you can see on the right left screen there, you're moving away from the target with your right leg. That's that... F- you know, belt theory, but you've got to be doing movement of greatness as you do that, which is on the right screen. You can see movement of greatness there is happening, and you come easily from the back of the ball. Okay, I want you to look at this guy here. This is um, who was called uh, Hogan Sh- Shadows, really. It's just Gunston, but I want you to look at his movement of his hips here, right? So there's a little cursor there, so he goes back. Creates a little bit of hip depth right there, but look how much depth he creates on the way down. Huge. Now, this footage goes forever, so I'll go right to the very end. Right, It's called Hogan Shadow for a reason because he looked very similar to Hogan. But watch his swing in the background with the grid. Right, Turns. Right, Tiny bit of hip depth creating now, and then look at it open up. Right, Huge amounts. So by the time he gets a contact there, his hip was... A grid and a half back here. There's was his hip. I'll just blow that up on the big screen. Right, his hip was back here. So let's rewind that again. Right. So here he goes. Right. Watch where his hip is. I put a little cursor there. Right there it was. Right. Watch it go. 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 Still going. So at contact, right? He's gone a grid, almost two grids. Oh, well, there's actually two grids because he was halfway through here. That's one. That gives you an idea of how much that flow needs to happen whilst the movement of greatness happens. And you can see his movement of greatness happening now. There's the movement of greatness, why the flow's there. Okay, and that allows him to get across to that side. So that's the area, the second area that's really important is that movement or flow forward. But the movement of greatness is almost more imperative for you so you don't get steep to start with. And once you do do the movement of greatness, you greatness you have to transfer your weight otherwise you end up across the line right awesome Davey